Hi everyone. I wanted to pass on something that my nutritional therapist um, advised me on. So basically, we've been through so much with the chemo and the surgery and everything, that, the stress and everything that we've been through, we really need at this point to be feeding our bodies with as much nutrients as possible. So get the best grade of nutrients and the sort of best sort of all round um, goodness to just replenish everything that's been knocked out of us. Um, antibiotics killing off all the bacteria, the good bacteria in our bodies. Um, and we've got to be regrowing hair fast. Um, so stuff that everything that our bodies would need to be getting back to normal again, we need. So um, she recommended a all round supplement for me. It's called Good Green Stuff. I'll put the link below so that you can go straight to it from, from below. And it's really, really good. It's got so much stuff in it. It's amazing. It's vegan and paleo friendly, whatever that means. Uh, but it means it's just gotten, it hasn't got any like, sort of dairy, whey, proteins or anything in it. But ever since this all kicked off with me, I've been reading a lot of what to eat and what not to eat and what we need and so much of that is agreeing with what's in here so she said that it is a bit pricey but if you were to buy all of the supplements anyway it would probably cost what's in the same pretty much as what's in here anyway so it's all swings and roundabouts just get a good quality really good supplement to begin with and you won't need to buy lots of different ones um, what I do like about this is it's got the it's got the vitamin D in it, which is really important for um, breast cancer. Um, normally, it's a vitamin D deficiency that uh, goes towards the cancer. Um, but what I do like, it's got biotin in it, which grows hair, and I need that. So that's really important stuff. Um, calcium zinc really important magnesium very good selenium extremely important for um, any cancer uh, to keep cancer away that's really important it's got spirulina pea protein um, apple lectin which is the red skin in apples uh, that's the important bit that you need out of an apple so it's in here anyway flaxseed really important because that builds the um, tough stuff in the uh, uh, the plant stems and stuff and that's really important I can't remember why I could go get a book and tell you but just believe it is um, lots of things that I'm picking out on here that I know beetroot um, very important for breaking down calcifications um, because chemo my surgeon said the chemo doesn't get through the calcif the calcifications that get built around because okay your body tries to lock down the cancer mine did anyway lock down the cancer in the calcium and then the chemo doesn't get through that very easily so it's still in there so when they take the, do the surgery and take out the, the calcium they not it there's sometimes they're worried that it's uh, the cancer can still be in the ca uh, calcium so anyway so yeah get your beetroots juice your beetroots it's got beetroot in here carrots we all know ginger's very good licorice eh, root that's why i don't like it spinach kelp shiitake mushrooms there's been a big study on mushrooms are really important at cancer killing so that's great as well so get your mushrooms in it only takes about five mushrooms a day that you need um in your diet anyway but throw some shiitake in why not um, what I really like is, uh, it's got green tea in here, we all know that's amazing. It's got rosemary in as well, which is specifically good for keeping away, um, or working towards breast, towards breast cancer, against breast cancer. Uh, something in it that's uh, against that. Milk thistle, my um, one lady in said to take that because it helps cleanse your liver, so it helps you get all the toxins of the chemo out. Um, so it just helps cleansing and detoxing. So that helps your liver as well. Uh, grape seed, I read something very good about that. Um, I'm rattling through them because this is going to be a long video. Otherwise, what I really like about this stuff also is that the it's got lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. So it's got all the good bacteria in it as well. So because we've had so many, um, you know, antibiotics and things, 
killing everything off. It's great to be putting them back in. Um, they also boost your immune system as well, so really important stuff. So overall, my nutritional therapist said in a big way, in an overall sense, to get a really good supplement because then oh, after a while when we're feeling better and looking better we can knock it down again but right now we really need the big guns what else we got lots of turmeric roots so packing more turmeric in we all know how very important that is amazing stuff dandelion sounds weird but i was hearing that a lot of people make dandelion tea you can go out and dig the weeds up in your garden apparently i'm not going to do that um, but really, really good cancer killer. Again, dandelion, so I'd rather take it in a powder. Um, and overall, lots of stuff that I don't understand in there, but there's like loads of stuff. It has fruit, veggies, vitamins, minerals, microbiotics, pea protein, which actually that's really good for um, your body needs a lot of protein to stitch you back together when you've had surgery it's doing a lot of knitting together again of everything so you need the proteins plant enzymes greens herbs phytonutrients berries and fiber so it's all round is what she um recommended to get uh, i'll put the link below i promise but uh the website shows the person carefree um stirring it into a glass of water don't do that I did that. Oh my god, that was the longest glass of water I've ever drunk. I wasn't going to throw it away because I paid for the stuff that's gone into it, so I battled through it, but oh, that was just the gift that kept on giving. It was like, uh, don't do that. Um, <laughs> what I do is I make my juices, so I do a carrot and celery and stuff juice, um, and then I'll stir that into it, but really, really, really goes best if you go put it in a smoothie with something yummy and you can't taste it um, overpower it some nice um, banana or something so that it's not grainy and it just goes into a smoothie the best fruit juice uh, juice your own stuff and then put it in there but don't put it in water like they say to because oh my god don't do it but anyway just wanted to pass that on because it's a really good product and I stand by it and I'm definitely growing my hair back feels slow but it's getting there and I can see a difference every day so top your nutrients up your body needs it knock it down later on but right now you need everything that you can get so keep on going I'll see you soon take care